All right, I guess I'll begin. Hello, everyone. My name is Zadar. I'm a wizard. This is Kane. We're back to it. Uh, we only played this a little bit last week. Can continue on. Uh, I think I recall we were trying to leave. So we're in this facility. We've woken up. We're a pregnant woman. And we were trying to get through this gate, which you think that would not be that big of a deal, that not being a, a, a problem. But it is because there's a big monster. Uh, waiting for us behind the gate so uh, let me just remind myself that, that is not an option let's just go oh come on right yeah come on right right we see this cutscene and uh, she gets spooked she does a lovely topple over that uh, over that object And then we get uh, eviscerated, I take it, uh, based on the, the sounds. Good evening, Abaddon. Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. I'm just reminding myself of what we were actually doing the last time in Kane. Um, and it's it's not going through that gate. I just couldn't remember uh, what was going on, why we couldn't go through the gate. Uh, right, so we can't go through the gate because if we go through this gate, we're going to be eaten alive by the monster. But we want to get to the elevator uh is there anything i can do with the security panel oh, here's the question okay so no we can't um if we go anywhere near the panel anywhere near the anywhere near the panel uh we'll get eviscerated so also i'm i'm hammering every single button trying to skip through these cutscenes and i'm not really sure which one it is Please just reload the game, if you would. Thank you. Okay, so you cannot go anywhere near this area. That is good to know. Um, what's in our inventory? We have a data records, an omni tool, a whip, all right? PDT, which I believe is installed in us. Uh, a glossy photo of Joseph. And a voice recorder from John Kern. So... I think what we might have to do is like adjust the internal temperature. My guess is that that's what these fans are doing and maybe we can like freeze the monster. It's really silly, but I mean, this game has been pretty silly. How are you doing tonight, Abaddon? How are you doing? How's everyone, uh, how's everyone doing? I hope they're well. Um, how weird day at work and we're just like all out of sorts and got behind and now I'm all like trying to get myself back into the right headspace. And Kane's not really the greatest uh, game of, to do it with. You're full of sugar? No, no. You, you, you get the diabetes. Alright. Okay, that's done talking to us. Um, we recall that the the system controls in this room, and they require a PDT. These right here, the the temperature controls, and this requires a PDT. So perhaps we can now access it because we have a PDT. How did you obtain so much sugar? Do I want to know? Is it your birthday or something? I'm not going to sing if it is. Active PDT required for terminal access. Well, I have one of those. Do I not? Is this not a PDT? Okay, it is. I just It doesn't automatically operate for some reason. Okay, we've got areas with filtration. There's a lot of areas. Okay, normal, 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 normal. I like that it keeps it in Fahrenheit. Very good. Uh, normal, normal, normal. Is there something that is abnormal? That would be the question. Normal. Normal. Uh, these all look okay. And then there's also that room with all the slugs. Or whatever they are. Uh, they're like worm creatures. And uh, they... 
Okay, everything looks normal. And they're in like a little pit, and we need to get in there, I think, maybe. All right, so maybe the temperature is what is at issue. So 46, 52, 44, 53, 50, 46, 54. We can make all these hotter. We can just max out the temperature in every single room. It's quite cold. Six forty, forty, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven is quite high. I don't know. How high can we take it? Can we, can we make the temperature really hot? Okay. When does it cycle back? Odd. Okay, what about if we can increase the humidity in all the rooms? Maybe that is the solution. Hundred percent humidity. Go for it. Hello, 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 time. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so ninety-nine percent humidity is the maximum hello time how you doing welcome in welcome in i just got started we haven't done we haven't done a bleeding thing we're trying to figure out what to do next um do i really have to put the humidity up in all of these 99 <laughs> percent humidity in a, in a room it's 99 percent humidity but it's 49 degrees fahrenheit uh which Help me, is that, that... That's sort of cold, isn't it? It's a bit cold. So it's wet and cold in all these rooms. Sounds like... Sounds like the UK, almost. There's one room that has a fire blazing in it. Is it pretty cold? There's one room that has a fire blazing in it. From, like, a crashed lift. So... My thought was that maybe if we increase the humidity, uh, maybe that will be good. You're eating ice cream? I'm jealous. What type of ice cream? If I might ask. It's very important. The type of ice cream will determine, um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's going to say a lot. Because if it's just plain vanilla... I don't mind. But uh, I'm doing well. Um, I had a lot of work, to work today. And um, uh, I, I don't know. I just, I've just i been out of sorts. So I'm just trying to get myself back into this headspace of playing video games on the internet for people. Walnut ice cream with hazelnut drizzle. Mm. I like hazelnut. I'm all about that. The walnut, however, I don't think I've ever had walnut ice cream. I'm not a big ice cream fan to begin with. And that's not because I don't like ice cream. It's that um, I typically just don't eat a lot of food. <laughs> if anybody knows me from watching my streams, I don't eat a lot, period. And when I do, I'm usually full and I can't stomach anything else, so... Like, I, I end up um, never having never having room for it. It's very creamy, smooth, hmm. Depends on where you get it, I suppose. Also, I don't know if this is doing us any good. Let's go back out. Maybe I... I'm not going to sit here and, and increase every single one of those <laughs> to 99 humidity uh, and, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> I cannot be bothered. We are allowed to the use it. The last thing I said to my son oh. was to get out there and carve his own name into the world and stop relying on mine. Did you mean it? Sometimes kids know that their parents say things they don't mean. My mom, the last thing she said to me was that 
I was the reason she was alone. That I sapped the life out of her from the moment I came into existence. You know that's not true. A small part of me knows that. A bigger part doesn't. Roth. My mom was just like, you're 18, you're out the door. <laughs> well, you see how well that worked. Started entertaining, thought of going out to get some ice cream, but the closest convenience store is 11 minutes away, and the next closest one is like a half hour. And you're also full of sugar. Now, I can't imagine having <laughs> ice cream is going to make it any better. Also, there's no music for some reason. Do we just lose music? If there's ever been music, I don't recall. Hang on a second, let's... I can't imagine it was just this. It seems like it's a lot quieter. Oh. Okay. Thank you for showing that, Kane. I'm really appreciative of that. Um, okay, well, hmm. Alright. Uh, um, brain emulation, birthing lab, crew facilities. Big sugar appreciator. <laughs> big, big sugar has gotten to you. I like some sugar. I don't mind it. I've, I've a cake every now and then. Sugar. <laughs> All right. This is where we drop down into the baptismal pool, of course. And there's a stasis pod with them, um, cane in it. Uh, but none of that else matters. We have a whip. Oh, so we need to whip something. Uh, do I run around trying to find out what to whip? Uh, we might. And then there's this room. Uh, with all so the slug use things in these it. Little guys to control Samantha, and the gas they give off when they touch dead tissue calms her. I need to catch one. Oh, okay, great. All right, so we've get, we've gotten direction now. Uh, atmosphere readout is bad. We need to know what room this is. Is there a is there a thing that tells us what room it is? Focus bait canister required full health extraction. Okay, we need a baited canister. What's this terminal say? Julia can logged in. Check in. Caligula, Attila, Mengele, Genghis, Mao, Nero, Vlad. One of these people is not like the other. <laughs> One of these people is not like the other. Uh, can you, dear viewers, figure out which of these people is not like the other? Uh, I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's not Caligula. Incidents, Vlad was temporarily... Vlad was temporality removed. Vlad was temporarily removed from the habitat using a baited canister. Caligula's exhibited extreme aggression. Mao consumed five appendages from Nero. I've supplied raw meat and plasma to encourage brood gas production. Vladic produced an excessive nootropic vapor. Making a note of the crew facilities passwords in case Bolin locks me out. Okay, well, we, we've already gotten in there. Okay, so that's not... It's not the problem. We need to figure out what room this is, maybe? We need a baited canister. Where do we get a canister from? Uh, we need a canister. Crew quarters, I imagine. And then what's in here? This is the room with all the blood. More so. There's a lot of rooms like that. This one especially has a lot of blood in it. Okay. <laughs> I, got scared. I got scared there. It didn't load. Um, right. This is the room with the womb. The Tomb of the Womb. Tomb of the Boom Womb. Uh, can we use the whip on, like, the restraining harness? Is that a thing we should do? No? Uh, can we use the whip on the womb? No, I should think not. What's on this PDA? What was it? I'm having to get all my bearings again, because I haven't played this in a week. Oh, right, that's John Kern. And uh, he's... He's him. Yeah, he's quite gross, isn't it?
It's Kane. Oh my god, it's Kane. Hello, Flip. Welcome in. We just got started. I haven't done a bloody thing. I have no clue what I was doing last time. I think what we need to do is I think we need to get a canister. Let's go to crew facilities. Maybe we can find a canister in there. We basically we need oh sorry. I think we need a canister. And then the canister, we need to bait it. Yeah, I know what I said. And then we'll get a grub. It, it, okay, uh, we, we'll get a grub. Didn't I die? I did. Uh, you missed it. Uh, if we go up, so the problem is here. Let me go back out for just a bit. It looks cool, yeah. People don't like this game as far as point and clicks go, but I'm having fun. I don't mind it. I think for a free game that costs nothing, they do a very good job. Um, if we head up this ramp here, uh, we will die. Because in at this ramp is Samantha, which is a big monster thing. Uh, it'll eat us, and that's a problem. So we need to, like, anesthetize Samantha with, with one of the grubs. Uh, there's a boom box. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Adventure game time. We're going to use a whip. Stupid Hadley. A whip on every single interactable object until one of those things works. Okay. Uh, Omni tool on the boom box. Does that work? For crying out loud! What was I thinking? Okay. Okay. This is the game music, by the way. What you're hearing in the background is the game music. Yeah. I don't think anything else is gonna work. Um. One thing I do wish this game had is like a run. She does run, but she doesn't do it fast enough. I wish I wish there was a way to like teleport. Um, this might be silly, but this is also an adventure game. Can I whip my way up to the passageway? No. She's pregnant. She's done better. She's she's done like flips and things. She, she's quite limber. For being in a third trimester, she's quite limber. I don't know if I should be shouting for help or keeping quiet. So I, I don't I don't take the pregnancy Hello? excuse. Hello? Shit. Okay, keep it quiet. <laughs> oh, that was progress, apparently. Okay. So walk over here and yell is progress. Uh Was that floor? Floor. Floor, floor, floor. There it is. Layers of ash. Okay. That doesn't help us. Uh, can we use, like, an Omni tool on the floor? No. Scream to attract the monster. Got it. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that screaming like a mad woman would have actually attracted a, a attention? Uh, have we gone through here? We haven't. Okay, we have. That that is the crew facilities, and then if we go over to this room here, I believe this is where that one lady is. That's the that's the daughter of uh, the the. The professor who runs the place. Uh, there's blood covered sheets, uh, PTA, romance novels, a personal terminal. Personal terminal is broken. A mangled safe, which we got the. We got something out of here, I think. Uh, do we need the PD, uh, the Omni tool on this safe? I don't. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for this. Yep, that is something people used to say. We got a photograph um, from the wall. No. There's a radio up here. What's going on with that radio? Uh, can I use a whip on it? No. Okay. Can I use the Omni tool on it? Can I combine 
that around, it might fit. Anything in my inventory to make a difference? No. There's a voice recorder of Kern. How much you want to bet we're going to use this voice recorder on a door that is voice operated? A picture of Joseph. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. Huh. The only place that we were allowed to go was... Video killed the radio star, video killed the radio star in my mind and in my car. We can't rewind, we've got <laughs> too far. Pictures came and broke your heart, put the blame on VCR. Based. Also, dating yourself. <laughs> but that's okay. Because probably the only people that are going to get that reference are me and you, <laughs> you probably. I was thinking about that. Uh, I was thinking about that song. Uh, a few days ago, honestly. Okay, this is the birthing nexus. We don't need to be here. Uh, what was the other place? The brain emulation studio? Or it? It's not that old, is it? <laughs> it's like that meme, uh, that meme picture of uh, of of Sonne saying like, uh, "Hadley, oh. my dearest little girl, oh. my sweet creature, oh. you're alive. I am. Do you know me? Know you." Oh my girl, I know you better than you know yourself right now. Probably. Oh god. Oh god. Adams will suffice. Hadley, you need to go. No. And how is the masterpiece inside of you? Healthy, I hope. Growing quickly now, I'm sure. It's nearly time. What do you mean? Our baby, Hadley. Don't talk about my baby. Why did you take me? You were the right person in the right place at the right time. Can... can you help me get out of here? Don't trust him. Out of here? Don't worry about getting out. Security will be here soon. They'll set this all right. Just come. Wait here. This is the safest room in the facility. Here. Closer to me. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, he is behind a force field, so that is fairly safe. Dr. A Adams, wheezing obscenely with every breath, he watches Hadley with a smug, sanctimonious sneer. Oh, right. I remember that there's, like, descriptions in this game, and they're very lovely. The lacerated floor panels. The damage has exposed a section of the maintenance system. Yeah, he's got a bit of a tummy on him. Uh, we've got a fire suppression cylinder. Out there? Samantha, a grotesque violation of genetics, but she is locked away. Joseph managed to lure her behind the loading fence. Quite the action hero, our <laughs> Joseph. He did die rather spectacularly. The fence has been ripped open, and your experiment is going to tear us all to pieces. <laughs> no, no, no. All three of us will be safe very soon. Then we can carry on where we left off. I said don't talk about my baby. No, no, no. Quite the opposite. He's 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 got a, a bit of a figure on him. Uh, I aspire one day to be as swell. Uh, we can read the PDA if you would, please. Pick that up. We also got a fire suppression device. I'm afraid that most of that information may be a little above your head. I'm tempted to stick around just to see this place burn. Got some jowls on him. Um, okay, 14th of February, the day of love. Not that means much to a senescent bachelor like me, but oh, an old man can dream, can he not? Oh, tell me about it. For old men have nothing but dreams to keep them awake in the sleepy, languorous twilight of their years. Uh, this is hitting close to home. One might suppose, and a dream of love is a salve on this chap's unrealized passion. His grief is a regret. My work in the facility is a different matter entirely, however. Kane has already been delivered to us in stasis. I still haven't succeeded with even a single subject. The most exasperating problem indeed, not least of 
this would be only the start of my own ambitions, my own renaissance. Oh, right. He's got a really deep voice, doesn't he? He's got like a really deep voice. Oh, yeah, I can. I can. I can. I can. I can talk a bit lower. I can talk a bit lower like that. Because he's obviously using like a voice changer. Uh. No, that's too much. I'm getting a bit, bit of reverb there. Okay, there we go. Maximum masculine gender. Dr. Mullen's research has demonstrated that consciousness is nothing more than a program, a set of equations and instructions and conditional arguments. It can be replicated and it can be transplanted, but much like the body's immune response may reject a transplanted limb, so the body's most basic neural coding, its inherent sense of self, or what Freud called the id, may also reject a transplanted consciousness. The question is how to suppress the encoding, how to suppress, perhaps, the soul itself. Instead of looking for an answer, instead of solving the predicament, I am dreaming of Joseph Buno eating me. It's rather arousing. Okay. Now here's an intriguing coincidence. I've discovered that a recent but otherwise bureaucratically insignificant employee in the facility is related to Cain. The genealogy of this is tenuous, but definitely established. Could a genetic component be the solution to our problem? Acquisition could be precarious, but a man finds luck where opportunity and preparation meet, and this man could use a bit of luck. I have an opportunity, so now to prepare. Hanks is mostly my fault. I'm afraid of the calendar, I told him this morning. Why, he asked. Because its days are numbered, I replied, and then I had to explain the joke, because Hank is not exactly the most socially sophisticated boy. He has what you call the autism. I should have disposed of him with his host. I know, but I'm a maudlin, and besides, I've always wanted a child. I'd always wanted to be a dad. I named him after my own late father. A man I confess I despised for reasons too numerous and humiliating to disclose here. But my colleagues in the lab call him the hobo. I should probably be insulted on his behalf, but I'm not sure I blame them. He might be a kind of ersatz son, but he's undeniably peculiar. Much like me, since adolescence, I've been fascinated, no, consumed by the prospect of incorporation. Of two people merging, absorbing, and coalescing with each other, becoming one big fleshy blob. It's obviously been a tremendous motivation for my ongoing research at the facility, but it's also profoundly personal. If I could transplant an adult's consciousness within an infant subject, it must be possible with some recalibration, no doubt. But fundamentally not dissimilar process in theory to transplant an adult's consciousness with another adult. It would certainly preclude the vulgar taboo, grisly mess, and dubious esoteric prospects of an old-fashioned cannibalism anyway. And Joseph is the sort of man I'd always wished I could be. Elegant, charismatic, generously endowed. I mean, I assume he's generously endowed. Let's not think about that. He's the least insane Gel Burrow visitor. He's got some Gel Burrow going into his nostrils there. I wonder what that's all about. Kern's project is absurd. The regrowth of organs is only a temporary solution to the permanent problem of inevitable infirmity and the most impractical one. Sooner or later, the body itself must be replaced, whatever his prior's pretensions and shrieks of verity. He can worship Cain all he wants, but science is, as they say, a non-profit organization. See what I did there? You'd only get that if you read that. So when I said it to myself, it, it wasn't a joke, it's just how I typed it. Cain is a client, even if he does technically pay our salaries. I work here is not some occult apostolic devotion, it's legitimate. It may not entirely be ethical, I'll concede. Medical research for the per future prosperity of humanity. Or the future prosperity of our facility in Ralph's case. Ah, we're all about maximizing efficiency over here. And we didn't need a health and fitness officer when everybody who works in the lab's already a medical professional. Medical professionals always the most uh, healthy of individuals. You never meet anybody that's overweight and a medical professional. There's certainly none that smoke. In the meantime, progress on my own special order is exceeding expectations. 
Joseph has proven rather more resourceful than I'd first imagined, although I'll claim the credit for his uh, extraordinary virility. I've started contriving arrangements for the host's transfer to my lab within the next two months or so, with final delivery scheduled just in time for the ho-ho holidays. See what I did there? Just like in Die Hard. Oh, Dr. Adams, for me, you shouldn't have. Thank God, it's almost over. We've had a series of accidents in the lab. Actually, I suspect sabotage of some sort. I found some discrepancies in our security access logs, but the joke on the joke's on whomever is responsible because the early termination of our last two host batches has provided a convenient subterfuge for the requisition of my own special order. Now I can watch it on the ultrasound every day, 24 hours a day. All other priorities rescinded. I, all I do is look at this ultrasound of my own the of the pregnancy that's what he's talking about reports of an emergency situation elsewhere in the facility although the details are infuriatingly if unexpectedly ambiguous as per official company protocol i've started the arduous process of backing up my lab work but if a full evacuation is called i could lose the most crucial progress i've made progress which has in fact come almost to full term that's 40 weeks if you don't know okay returning to normal this is my normal voice okay uh i don't think we learned anything at all from from that just him being a creepo and uh and whatnot but he is obscene he is wheezing uh but we did get a fire suppression Man, device you can't leave me now i can and i will watch me uh so since we have the fire suppression device we can now suppress the fire uh, which is over here. Which we have to laboriously walk back towards. We must have just forgotten to go in there. I guess I just never went in there. It's weird. Okay, we want to... We want to... Yeah, we want to... Suppress this fire. So do so. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. And I totally knew it was going to do that. Wait, did she throw it in there? Was it like a grenade? What did she do? Nothing. I think that's what scares me. The idea that when we die, there's just nothing. It's not nothing. It sounds like you have a life most are envious of. You have kids, right? A real family. Like people know you exist. Real life. Some of us never got off the starting line. You will Tell me have about a it. Family soon. When I die, I want to leave something behind. You have that. I have student debt and a goldfish. Your legacy is the child inside of you. This baby deserves more than what I could ever give. It deserves to be part of something. Something bigger than me. Family. Home, a future. She's sort of come around on the whole baby thing. I think, I think I recall that like at the beginning of the game, she wasn't keen on having the kid. I think she was actually there in the in the hospital trying to get an abortion. Chuck, what the hell was I thinking? Oh, this is who we slept with. This must be the this must be the person we swept slept with. But yeah, she was like not really keen on the the whole baby thing, and now she's sort of come around to it. Uh, we don't know how this person talks. Uh, he he looks like he's a right chap. Chambon War, hello, Kylo, welcome in. Uh, we we haven't really done much yet, but how are you doing? Those were questions, and statements, and sentences. Uh, Joseph Binia, February fourteenth. Go look a bit, be back a bit. All right, thank you, time. Thank you for dropping by as well. Is this the Prego horror? It is. We are very pregnant and very scared. Those three, two things go together. I don't even want to know what happened in the lab. Keep a bunch of pregnant bitches locked up in one place long enough and shit's gonna go down. Everybody knows that. Okay. <laughs> I understand completely what his, this character is. But with Kane arriving next month and now this fucking disaster, security is getting tighter than my glutes on leg day. LOL. 
gotta use that line at the interdepartmental mixer later between this my new skincare regime and that baby let's make like dna helicase and unzip these jeans that's a terrible pickup line t-shirt those sluts from the organ grinder are gonna be sipping and sliding on their seats oh, lovely i hit the jackpot hit it but didn't quit it if you know what i mean winky face winky face smiley face smiley face actually I i'm actually curious how would how would how would something like that be read by like text to speech i'm actually curious how would how because remember he's dictating this so he's not typing it hold on It <laughs> doesn't know. Okay. You thought I was adding those lines? No. No, he's the real deal. He's genuine. Semicolon, close bracket, semicolon, close bracket, close bracket, close bracket. Gonna keep this plate spinning because her name's Julia Kern. And she's only, wait for it, Professor Kern's daughter and his assistant. She's a solid 6.8 out of 10, maybe even a 7.1. I like... I like that this man, uh, he's he's so misogynistic. He goes, um, he gives two significant digits when calculating uh, the out of tenness of a woman. Most guys, they just are satisfied with one significant digit. You know, they take it out to a six or a seven. No, 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 not this man. He's taking he's taken out to two significant digits. He learned his lesson. If she'd shut the fuck up, nice deltoids. More importantly, though, she's in charge of Samantha and her grubs. I play this right, and I've got free tickets to the organ grinders petting zoo whenever I want. More like heavy petting zoo, major threesome potential law. Wait. <laughs> Angry emoji. Angry emoji. Angry emoji. Crying emoji. Crying emoji. Crying emoji. Got some annoying new guy bothering us in the lab about the facility's new perpetual quantum power system. Danny something or other. Total beater. He's even got a fucking pet bird. Had to sit through a whole presentation about shit, I don't know. I don't pay attention to chumps. I was too busy dreaming about that nasty things I'm going to do with Samantha. Julia gave me the grand tour around the organ grinder yesterday. I noticed a spare live eye incubation canister in one of the storerooms. It's a bit busted up, but I think I could fix it. The real problem is uh, liberating some of those grubs. But just imagine I could grow my very own sexy mermaid monster. <laughs> this man. He's hes being written as if we shouldn't like him, but I don't know. hes He's kind of growing on me. I would say just go percentages, but I've seen two significant figures out. Of 10 in old game review magazines. What that would be hilarious if instead of using uh instead of using like six out of ten, seven out of ten, use like old uh EGM stats. <laughs> like 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 in, in Game Pro where it's like uh red smiley face. Oh man. Maybe I could even put in a requ requisition to Kane Tech for an extra office mod. Law. In the meantime, though, I've been cooking up a new sedative mix for the lab hosts that keep them nice and compliant, but also just a bit awake. You know, low, low consciousness to keep the EEG normal, but high enough that they know when I'm working on my special projects. Got to keep myself busy, you know. There's something wrong with the food. I swear, people are shitting out their eyes. Shitting out of their eyes or shitting their eyes out? I told one of the interns that Danny's been dosing the rations with radioactive goo because fuck that guy and his dumbass bird. And it's totally the kind of thing a beta loser like him would do for her attention anyway. What the fuck is up with this cheese diet? Sure enough, everybody was blaming that arsehole in about two hours. Lol. Managed to grab that larvae incubator and two grubs while everybody else in the lab was cramming in the toilets though. Hello, Grubbet and Grubbelina. Winky face, winky face, winky face. Adams paid me to hook up with some chick off site last night. He paid you. It's quite a, quite a gig. 
He gave me a bunch of performance enhancement pills like this sexual Tyrannosaurus needs it, lol. And I had to get video proof and everything. He was very insistent about that. I didn't know he was into that kind of kinky voyeur shit. Actually, I kind of thought he was into me. That old creeper eyeballs me like constantly. Does that make me some kind of like hot wife, but a dude version? Hot dude. Uh, it's called a himbo, son. Is that gay? Whatever it is, it's cash in the bank and Julia won't ever find out. Like, we didn't already have enough shit stains around the facility. Kane has sent us a fucking health and fitness officer to sort out that food problem. Instead of sending us more food. What the hell are those corporates smoking in the ballroom? Because I could use some of that. Shit's been fucking crazy. <laughs> First, the arm malfunctions in the lab. Don't know what the deal is there. But we've had eggheads coming in and out all hours trying to fix it. And we lost two shipments of hosts. On the one hand, it's pushed us behind schedule, but on the other, the bruises on those whores were starting to show. Now I've got a whole fresh canvas for my art, winky face. And hey, remember Ralph? Yeah, Ralph's out, technically. It was kind of decided he'd be more useful as the PDT printer's new sheep of you, and nobody else was more fit or healthy for the position. Lol. Now Ralph's doing some real work for the company, and nobody has to worry about logging the macros and carbs or whatever. And I'm monitoring my own anyway. Oh, and somebody found a thing in atmospherics, like some kind of puppet made of rotten body parts. I'm pretty sure it's the hobo's girlfriend or some shit. Lol. I guess some guys got to get it where they can. Let's be honest. Who am I to judge? Last but not least, I think Grublina might be pregnant. Yeah. She's definitely getting fatter. And not just because she fucking ate Grubette. For reals, that's a thing that legit happened. Gnawed at her caucus for like a whole week. And her boobs are getting pretty huge. A little punishment and they spew grub milk everywhere. It's actually kind of hot, but gross, but also hot. <laughs> God damn it. I hate this game. I can absolutely see this man evolving into commencing pixie pilgrimage while summoning profusely. <laughs> man, this man. This man has seen some shit. I'd love to see his his hentai tags. With a with a fella like this, you know his hentai tags are actually probably going to be pretty tame, all things considered. Julia is beginning to irritate the shit out of me. Since when are a few bruises not a love sign? Sign of love, whatever. A few, lol. Chivalry when they like it and sexism when they don't. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Dude, I am totally the new resident DJ in the crew lounge. My sexy tunes are making the bitches hot for a brosif meetup. Get it? I put my boot playlist on repeat on the vintage boombox. Pussy magnet. Some kind of emergency drill with the elevator. Don't know what it's about, but it's serious. Oh, now somebody's fucking screaming in the corner. Gotta go, bra. Amazing. Best PDA in the game, hands down. I'm glad we I'm glad we read all of that. My throat is not glad though. This room is much smaller than the other. Maybe he drew the short straw. <laughs> this isn't the only small thing he has. That's a penis joke. <laughs> now I can't stop talking like him. My throat's fucked now. Winky face, winky face, winky face, winky face. Dude, I totally scored. Winky face, winky face, winky face, winky face. <laughs> uh, destroyed personal terminal. There's a personal safe. It's DNA locked. So whenever you want to open this safe, you have to draw blood. I take it. Okay, we don't have blood. All right. Uh, returning some holodisks by JB is scribbled in the corner. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't really touch that. Uh, do we have any blood samples in our inventory? Uh, does this work? DNA accepted. It does. Oh. I need to return some whole discs. Oh yeah, that's right. It reminds me. 
I love the concept of holodisc. Like, what's holographic about it? Is it like... Is it like a holographic image imprinted on a, a regular CD, or... What's the hollow part? And now we gotta have a fucking voice imprint, do we? Okay. Uh, can we use Kern? That work? No, it didn't. Okay. A voice imprint? Where are we going to find one of those? Hmm. Alright. Uh, is there anything we can do with whip? Won't work. Won't work? Okay. Can we do it on the personal save? Um, no. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Hadley, are you on drugs? Possibly. What are the data records? Maybe... No, no probably not. Rip the bed sheets. The reckless disarray suggests somebody was looking for something. Okay. There's also like a you can go behind here thing. See my mouse, but I can't get back there, so... Okay. Well, this room's a bust, but uh, we'll come back. We've got the DNA. Uh, we just need the uh, voice recorder. Of somebody. <laughs> Flourishing extravagance of verdant flora, unconcerned by the catastrophe around it. Okay. What did we actually get out of all of this? Oh. Oh, we got secret code. Uh, I don't know if I should write that down. Probably not. I don't think I need to. All these secret things, I don't think I've had to write down. I think it's. I think it's just. I think it's just things for. Uh, things for us. Okay. What did we get? Anything new? We got up here. We need a voice recording of I, I get I take it that's that's uh yeah. I wanna take the phrase bun in the oven too, literally. That's a joke. Wait, that's weird though. We've we've got this voice recorder and like I it, it's of Kern. But that's that's John Kern, that's not Joseph Kern. That's not the guy that was the real deal. Is there any, um, is there any, like, voice recordings in, in her room? Because this woman was sleeping with, uh, that Joseph guy. We need Joseph Kern's voice. Shattered picture frame. Blood-covered sheets, PDA. Romance novels. Uh, vintage photographs, safe. Peter, what's about what's about this? So, um, yeah, this woman, Julia Kern, she was sleeping with Joseph, Joseph Buno. So we need a recording of Buno's of, of Buno's voice. Where are we gonna get that? Hmm. Hmm. The man sitting in the, uh, behind the force fields, Dr. Adams. So that's not, that's not Buno. Okay, so, um, there we go. That's very stupid, but apparently his mixtape has his own voice on it. I wonder how he recorded that. I guess with the voice recorder? I don't know. Oh, back up the, uh, the slippery slidey stairs.
that, that was that was just a thing that I decided to do. Uh, put the recorder up to the boombox. I didn't know if that would work. I'm glad it did. Otherwise, we might have been stuck here. He did say that he did mixtapes on the boombox, and he was like, it was a, it was a, uh, quote, pussy magnet, but I didn't think that it had his voice on it. That's something I would not have thought of. Okay, now we can use this on the personal safe. Voice playback. Sit back and relax, and let the bro self take you to a better place. Can I get a J-O-S-E-P-H? Voice input accepted. Okay. This place keeps getting stranger. How did you think he installed all of this? Like, he obviously put this painting up on, like, some rollers, and then he keyed the safe, which is not really a safe, it's it's just an activating mechanism. He keyed it so that when he activated it with his blood and his voice, it would roll back. But, I mean, you're in a facility that is not owned by you? How did he... How did he manage all that? Dear. Can you, um, can you understand me? Do you, do you need, um, I had a loss for words. Oh, it's Griblina. Uh, it's a Griblina that says my, um, my Steam achievement. Uh, so this is the fleshy creature that Joseph apparently tried to milk. <laughs> God. His mouth socks wetly at the stale air. Bloated teats heaving ponderously above a clammy, desultory accum accumulation of limb-like appendages that clatter and scrabble against the metal pin. Jesus. Okay. Uh, oh, here's the canister. Okay, we've got that. That's great. Have that. Thank you. Take that with us. Now we need some bait. Um, can we, can we milk this creature? Is it happening? Okay, the game is not going to go and go that far. The game's not going to go that far. Okay, so we've got the canister. Also, why is he keeping it behind here? And why is he keeping it in this, like, uh, carved out space? Okay, can we do anything else with the creature? Can we whip it? Whip it good. Oh. No! Oh, come on. I don't have the stomach for this. Oh, okay, so we couldn't just express the milk. We had to whip the milk out of it, for good measure, you see. And now, of course, we can take the Grublina milk and bait it into the canister to get a baited incubation canister. What does the description on that say? Some mammary secretion has been placed inside the incubator. Lovely. Okay, well, that was horrible. That was horrible and filthy and disgusting. Let's leave. That's all we need. That's all we need from here. Making good progress. I was scared. I thought I'd thought be stuck for a bit, but we're making actually quite good progress. All right, back down here. Go over there, Hadley. Hadley, Hadley, if you would. Honestly, pretty based developments. <laughs> I can't say if I've ever... I've ever seen anything like that in any video game. Like... It, it, on the one hand, it's just par for the course for this sort of game, but you're right, it is like... 
Man. Because I have to imagine, like, what a dev meeting about that puzzle is. Right, because somebody had to develop that whole puzzle from start to finish. And you know that they all had to sit down with each other. And they had to discuss, okay, guys, what are some puzzles that we could put into our gross horror game? Uh, then one of them says, what if we, like, used breast milk? And they're like, okay, I see what you're saying, breast milk, okay. How are we going to get around the censorship, though? Oh, that's easy. We just make it not a human that you milk. Okay. All right. What is it? Well, it's, a, it's like a big slug thing, but it's human enough so that you, that you get the idea. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm with you so far. And then we whip them. Whip what? Well, the, the tits. You're hired. Sir, I've been working here for months. You're hired. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, put that in the place where it needs to be. One of these things. Grub hibernation in progress. All right. Grub hibernation in progress, you say? Uh... Uh... Okay, so I think is is here where we need. I'm back. How's it going? Oh, uh, high time! Uh, <laughs> you didn't miss uh, much of anything. Nothing uh, to <laughs> to you by. Uh, just uh, check the tapes, why don't you check? Uh... That's barrier. So, um, to bring it up to speed, we've got a baited canister, which contains... Couldn't tell you what it contains. Couldn't tell you at all. Um, but the grubs are asleep. So we need to pump this room so that all the, like, noxious fumes get pumped out. And I take it that's where we need to go to atmospheric control. The problem is, is that I don't really know what room this is it doesn't tell us i don't we have a map is there anything in the room that tells us what room this is what it's coded as biological growth sample retrieval and there's nothing on the terminal that tells us what it's what room this is Rub habitat. No, it's not. You'd reckon it would be. You'd reckon it would say somewhere on here. Like in most companies, they usually mark the equipment for where it goes. Although, I guess this is a stationary terminal, so they, they never figured it would be moved. Um, is there anything in here that we need to talk to? Uh... Oh, right. This is a stasis pod. Okay. Hmm. So we just need to figure out what room that is. And I guess take all the humidity out of it. I'm sure one of the PDAs told us. Uh... I hate to do this, but we have to go all the way back to power generation because we have to manipulate the we have to manipulate the uh, atmospheric controls in there. I'm sure one of the PDAs said what room that was, but I I can't be bothered really. I wish we could access the PDAs remotely, but we have to actually physically pick them up and scroll through them. We don't just save them. I think if this was a more developed game that wasn't for free, you'd be able to do that. But as it stands, unfortunate. Um, this was Sam, right? I don't think he said anything about the room. Oh, this is Danny. 
Right, that's Danny Boland. Um... Yeah, we don't we don't know. Uh, we don't know which one it is. I guess I can just set every single one of them down to like minimal humidity. Use a PDT on the terminal. Uh, okay, is there any difference in any of these rooms that might... that might tell us? I might not even be on the right track either. Also, does it keep? It does, because I turn this up to 76. I turn that up to 100, so it does keep. Okay, what if we... What if we turn it... What if we turn it down? Okay, what is the maximum... This temperature control doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Because it rolls back to 75. But then you can go down. I guess there's a default temperature that everything is... Everything is saved at. I have to do this manually, by the way. Okay, 14 appears to be the lowest humidity you can go to. So, so oh, 15. Okay, fine. I wish there was a faster way to do this. There. Okay, 15, 50. Uh, what about this? This is one of those this is one of those puzzles that is just unnecessarily extending the length of the game because I think I, I understand what the developers intend. Obviously the developers intend for you to go back and forth from the room uh, to figure out what room number it is and then like input different temperatures to figure out when the, the grubs wake up. Like it's a lot of busy work. And it ought to be something that's just written down somewhere, but it's not. Okay. I'm sure it's one of these rooms. So... Okay, that's fine. So I guess we have to just go back, and it does save the temperature. But you have to go back and forth between these rooms, and you don't have any way of skipping all of this. There's a lot of puzzle games that do, that do this, that let you have to go between rooms that are very far away from each other, and they don't have any sort of <laughs> skipping mechanism, like in... Um, like in mist, where you could lightning to the next area. It doesn't have anything like that. Uh, we have to go back up here. And honestly, it would, it would take me about the same length of time to get to the PDAs, to read through all the PDAs, to see if anybody mentioned something about the optimal temperature and pressure uh, to wake up the grubs.
But there is a method to my madness. Okay, there's still an induced coma. Um, can I use the PDT on the terminal? I think not. Okay. I'm just looking at this room to see if there's any kind of indication. Locus baited canister required full drop extraction. Right, we need a baited canister, which we have. It's right here. However, yeah, grub hibernation in progress. Grub hibernation is in progress. So we need to make them not hibernate. And there's an atmospheric readout. Uh There's a PDA up here. Let me let me read through this PDA. Maybe there's maybe there's an area. If anybody knows, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind just being told because this is sort of I get the idea, right? It's just a matter of running back and forth between the rooms to figure out which room it is and then figure out what they need. Uh Forty-one thirty-three. Okay, it, it can't be that because um, and all this time there's like no music at all, so you you're not left with like anything. Which again, this is a free video game, so I understand that they're not going to use the best music or nothing. But there could be, like, a little bit more in the way of atmosphere. He doesn't say anything about uh, the grubs. Uh... His daughter worked on the Grub Lab. We can go and read her PDA, I guess. I could... Mm, I'd, I'd love to be able to figure out in-game, though. Let me go... Let me go right quick, run over to the, the one... Samantha? No, no. Samantha's the monster. Uh, the woman who was sleeping with Joseph... Let me go run over to her, uh, her PDA. See if it says anything in there. Because, like, I understand it. I, you know what? I might not understand it also. I might... Like, this might be the most sensible interpretation of what you meant to do, but it might still be off the mark. But that makes sense, right? Like, I'll manipulate the atmosphere in that room... And that will wake the grubs up or something. Uh, does she talk about the grubs? Which is like, sometimes the atmospheric control breaks and tries to either freeze or burn us. Okay. Five minute walk. Perfect boyfriend. Fungus in the vents. Work's getting even harder for daddy. Stroke. It was the woman with the stroke. Um, where was her PDA? That was in the brain lab, wasn't it? Maybe it's with her? Well, Lure sharing over to Samantha so you use Joseph's PDT to release Samantha. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I guess Sharon. We, we could read Sharon's PDA. It's it's really right down here. Well, she wouldn't walk. Like I know she's pregnant, but like, it's a video game. She could at least run. Like she runs here. It's not that far. Um, let me go. Let, let's go down to the PDT printer room because I think Sharon's PDA is in that room. And then if that doesn't tell me, maybe I will just Google it because I, I don't, I don't think it's anything more involved involved than that. Right, her. Uh, does she talk about the grubs at all? Nine five two one one zero. That's just the email. Support staff. During the weekly inventory, I noticed two grubs are missing. Did he take them? He did. Okay, with the temperature now kept below the habitat's usual 95 degrees, however, Samantha's grubs are drowsy. Okay, okay, here's the answer. With the temperature now kept below 95 degrees, Samantha's grubs are drowsy. So the temperature inside has to be above 95 degrees. It doesn't give us the atmosphere humidity, though. But the humidity might not just matter at all. Let's just make sure there's no mention of a humidity. If I were a, if I were a game dev, if I were a game dev, I'd make it binary. I'd make it either like be at the highest end of the spectrum or the lowest, just to make it easy on everyone, easy to program. So we know it has to be above ninety-five degrees. Okay, I don't see anything else. All right, we have at least at least a little bit of what we need to know. Um, I mean, you know, it has to be above 95 degrees to wake them up. We don't know what humidity. The humidity might not make a difference. It might that might just be another red herring. The game has a few red herrings, so might just be that. All right, back back to the atmosphere control room. We have to go what's away back in there. Through here. I can't remember if it was it always this quiet. Was it always like there was no music in the game whatsoever? I feel like there was like background music and it just didn't load. Was I listening to background music? Was I it? Um, oh, right. We need to use the, the PDT on it to open it. All right. So it has to be above 95 degrees. However, we don't know which area it is. So we're just going to up the temperature to 95 in every single room and hope for the best. Yeah, which is 100. Uh, 
we'll just do it for every room and because we know that much at least and then if that doesn't work we have to go and do the humidity this is sort of a silly thing i don't know i i think this is another location where or another reason people might say there's moon logic to this game that's not a great game but i've done a lot stupider things in, in adventure games, point and click adventure games like this, so I, I don't think this is the stupidest thing, but it is just a little annoying just how they have it set up here to manipulate the temperature. If the temperature could be changed with like a scroll wheel or something, that wouldn't be that would make it a lot better. And maybe not make it like a million rooms, just make it like five rooms. Because I'm getting the basic idea, so I don't I don't see why we have to go through all these. Hundred there we go. I'm putting it up to a hundred because I again I think the devs That's something the devs would program, right? If you told someone to put it above ninety five then And you don't get any feedback either. You're not like it, it, something suddenly turns on saying that the grubs are awake. You just have to go walk there and, and see and see if that works. 100. <sighs> this 200. I'm clicking as fast as physically possible. I'm trying desperately to, to change all these to the highest. I guess this is gameplay. This is this is the gameplay. This is what they wanted. This is the interaction. Imagine if my click 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 click. Does it pick up? Because I have a very clicky mouse. I'm wondering if it... Imagine if it picked up on my microphone. Like here. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm putting up the, the mouse up to the, up to the controller here. That's what it's like. That's what it's like in my room. Is <laughs> is This incredibly loud mouse clicking. It's going to break my mouse. Come on. Come on. Okay. One one more. One last one. God, I hope this is I hope this works. I hope this works. God, I hope this works. Also, it's a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> in all the rooms now. Every single room is now 100 degrees. Which it already would be in most of these rooms since most things are on fire. I can't imagine that there's still like a working ventilation system. And of course, we have to walk all the way back up here. It can't just be there. It has to be up there to see if it even worked correctly. If, if this doesn't work, I will Google it because it, I think we've, we've put two and two together. It's just a matter of reading the PDA and that I don't want to go back a third time to read the PDA to see if I missed some sentence that says that it can't be humidity. It can't be like 100 humidity in there or something. All right. Is this satisfactory, Your Majesty? It's not. And like this readout doesn't tell me anything. God. All right. 
All right, game. Okay. I understand. I understand. It's like this. Is it Kane walkthrough? Tell me how to do it. Is it on game facts? Can I just go on game FAQs and do it? This is very silly. I, I, I obviously this is correct, right? Because we we read on. God, there's not even a walkthrough for it. All right, I have to go on Steam's walkthrough. PDT printed passage. Grab. Can cane. And there's there's literally like no music at all. Okay, I was right. I'm going to screen cap what the right answer is. I'm going to screen cap to you what the correct answer is. And I'm going to display this on screen. Uh, because I, I don't know how you're ever meant to know this. And I, I just think it's a little bit... It's not even moon logic. It it's like it's just lame. I'm just gonna have to sing. Uh, we don't want. We don't. Nobody wants that. <laughs> okay. So not only is it not one room, it's three different rooms, but only one is story related, and there is a temperature associated to it. But this is this is this is it. That is the correct answer. So we have to walk back. Also, note that the the PDA said that the grubs wake up anytime the temperature's above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but they've set it to 95 degrees. So if I were to actually follow it, like in reality, the, the grubs would wake up. If, if the temperature in the room was 100 degrees, or 99 degrees, the grubs would wake up. But because this is a video game and they can only program in one option, which they really shouldn't have to, they should be able to program in the entire thing. Um, it has to exactly be 95. And what would I even sing a cappella? I can't even think of a song that we, I could... I could even manage a cappella you sing. <laughs> I know I've watched some people do karaoke's a cappella. But they're also good singers. <laughs> like Roka Ruin. <laughs> Roka Roka from Idol is actually the only person that I've ever watched a karaoke full through. Like I've never had to watch a uh, karaoke before, uh, from start to finish. Okay, so I guess I'll do all the achievements. Why not? We'll do it. 40 there and 65 here. Uh, 648. This is 50. The, I, yeah, I'm, I'm using it. I'm actually watching my OBS. I have my OBS on my, on my second monitor, and that's what I'm using, so I don't have to flip through. It, trust me, I'm doing the thing that it says on, on here. You'll see just in a bit. Okay, let me go to 60. Wait, 648. 50-60, all right, 668, uh, that goes down to 95, and then that is 84. I'm telling you, I'm telling you time, I, I much respect to anybody who can stream on one monitor. You need to, you need to throne that. 
I will seriously fund the throne for um detected in grunt containment habitat. Wonderful. For, for a second monitor, for God's sake. That can't be good. Okay. So we did actually get a, a feedback. Yeah, a throne. It's like thrones like a it's a thing <laughs> that you can like uh request items on like people put lo loads of different things on thrones they put like uh new like new microphones streaming equipment <laughs> sleep uh one thing i figured out that throne al also allows you to do is um you can put on guns <laughs> it lets you uh put guns or at least uh, it lets you put uh gun um attachments because uh sleepy who if you don't know who sleepy is sleepy's a vtuber that is also very into firearms uh and she's from america the land of firearms and she put a, like an optic on throne and they let they let you do that they let you put a gun optic on throne not a gun but like a gun optic i misspoke but yeah put like a put a put a, put a, put a monitor on throne I'm sure we can ship together enough money to get you a new one. And then it, if it's something like a monitor, they usually buy it for you. So what happens is you pay Throne, and then Throne buys the item for you and ships it to your home. But for, th for some things like, like the gun optic that Sleepy ordered, they just give the money directly to her and tell her to buy it. So it, it kind of depends, but... I recommend that to everybody who's looking to have just a few things here and there. Oh, you only got one HDMI port. You must be running like a an older graphics card that doesn't have a multiple port. Well, then there's the, there's your solution. You need to put a new graphics card on there as well. Just put a 4090 and a, a 4K monitor. Pop it on there. You get one overnight. I don't know what else you could do. What's your name? Frederick? No. Charles. Yeah. You're clearly a Charlie. Wait. I think one of my sons was named Charlie. Was? He died. I'll throw you. I'll throw you a link. I'll throw a, a link out um, once I get done, and then you can you can see if you want to do it or not. You don't have to. I'm just saying it's a it's a it's a good option. I should have protected him. People people die. Sometimes you just can't do anything about it. People die when they're killed. Wonderful. Uh, now that we have the bait, what do we have to do with the bait? If I can lure Samantha somewhere with Freddy, maybe I could kill. Yes. Yes. Okay. Lure with Freddy. Okay. The next conversations I have with my children, it will be different. Second chances at life don't come around often. Chances? Your dad would be proud of you, Hadley. If he knew me, he knew who I had become. A survivor. It's not my fault that I look like him. Or act like him. And it's certainly not this baby's fault that I'm here. That's... That's on me. I can't blame my child for where I am. I know that my baby is... Family. 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 Okay. Uh, let's have a save. And let's make sure that uh, I am allowed to do this. 
because I don't quite understand what I'm I'm meant to be doing now. I don't know if we can just use the grub thing like a, a granado and throw it at Samantha. Oh come on! Right, let's have a let's have a look. Let's see if this works. This looks like it's the same cutscene. Also, look, she's done a, a perfect uh, flop over that that object. You can't tell me she's not limber. Okay, so that is not the answer. Uh, do I want to cheese it again? Okay, so we have this canister, right? And it's full of... It's full of, like, grub fart gas. Where would we put the grub fart gas? Can we put it into the ventilation? I feel like she's slowly getting brainwashed. Right, she has, she has sort of come around on the whole baby thing. Because if you remember, at the beginning of the game, she was going to have an abortion. She was there to get an abortion, and instead of getting an abortion, um, she woke up in this facility. So... So she has come around. No, sister. Grasping at straws, Hadley. Oh, for shit's sake. Uh, what do we do, Dr. Adams? Can he tell us what to do with this? No? Can we talk to him? No. Okay. There's nothing else we can do in this room. Um... Yeah, we can't put it into the vents, because that would be sensible. You'd reckon we'd stick it somewhere. You'd reckon we would stick it in a place that, like, dispenses it to the rest of the facility. There's that thing in power generation that we never really fiddled with. There's a little thing in power generation. Let's go walk down there. There's a little thing in power generation. And it's on the way to the air conditioning control. Um, the thing with the air thing is that, that that place that we were at that controls the heat and humidity, um, that's just like a, a that's like a, a terminal. It's like a computer terminal. There's nothing to stick in there. Although, maybe one of the vents did get unlocked. I didn't actually take a look. It, this thing, this power breaker switch. Oh, here we go. There's just a little floating icon. You see that? Why do we have to put it here? Okay, Freddy. Time to call Big Mama. Really? Couldn't we have done that anywhere? <laughs> oh, okay. It's good that that's foot operated. I'm glad they made that force field foot operated. Otherwise, um... Happy, come on. It's time to go. I can get help. I can find you now. No time. The elevator. It's close. It's open. I did it. We, we did, did it. it. We did it. This baby is going to be a fighter like his mom. I can feel it. No, don't spec him as a fighter. Spec him as a wizard. I made progress. Samantha. There's a, 
interesting description. The fey beast has been splayed in two. A sickly wisp of steam rises from exposed innards. We can call it a fey beast. That... Fey? Really? Fey beast? Okay. All right. I I I get it. I don't. I I thought that the grub gas, like, made Samantha sleepy. I thought that's what it was about, but I guess it wasn't. Okay. All right. Just go up there. Go up the elevator. Uh, I probably should save. Let's let's have another save. I'm scared. Dot bro. I'm scared. I'm alone. I may or may not be pregnant. May not. Couldn't tell you. I'm still waiting for the ultrasound to come back. It's coming. The baby. The baby is coming. I'm sorry, Hartley. Oh, God. It hurts. Something is wrong. There's something wrong. Nothing is wrong. This is the way it was meant to be. I hope he's not in breach presentation. That'd be awful. Hello, Hadley. Okay. Okay, well, well, well. We beat the game! Hooray! Fantastic! Yeah! Hooray! That was a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, if you haven't watched the breakdown of, of the Stasis series, because this is part of a series, I'll, I'll explain. So, um, if you read the PDA, if you read the PDAs in the game, um, the whole facility that we were at was dedicated to resurrecting um, a, a fellow named Cain. And that is who we had in us. That was our baby. So um, if you if you cobble together all the notes and you cobble together all of the the notes and storyline things, um, Dr. Adams, uh, used the, like, mind swap technology that they had to implant the, like, data engram, the soul of Cain, into a new body. And that's, that was Hadley's baby. So, the person in our heads that was talking to us was our own baby. And... That baby was actually Cain, who is a, a like a very important major figure in the Stasis universe. He's basically um, he invented a way of transferring your mind. So he's essentially God. Everybody worships him like God because he he has the technology to make anybody immortal. And 
now everyone's like immortal and constantly tra transferring their brain to a new body. And that's basically what he did. So he impregnated a woman only to then transfer his consciousness into her fetus so that he would be born anew. I think that is the long and short of it. I guess we could watch the the Mandalore series on it. But, um... I don't know. You can, you can watch it yourself. <laughs> um, well, we, you know, we... We did it. You have a problem with that? As do I. It was a little unsatisfactory. I'm going to go back to the lab for just a moment. And what I'm going to do... And you may continue, Abaddon. I'm just telling people what's happening. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording here. And I'll upload the video to YouTube. Um, but we'll do some more hard space. Uh, since I've only been streaming about an hour and a half. Yeah, but he's still a helpless baby though, right? He needs to take care of it. Um... Uh, yes, unless he has, like, super growth serum that makes him, like, an adult. That's another point. You're right, Abaddon. I believe a fetus's brain is capable of containing a grown human mind. There wouldn't be enough neural capacity. Right. Hmm. <laughs> um. Science. Uh, uh, science. Like, I, I don't know. Um, the bigger cop-out. That's a good That's a good point, but maybe... And this would be a really lame cop-out, but this would also be something that maybe the developers intended. It's not his brain, it's his actual soul. And... You can install a soul into any body of any age because the soul isn't organic but then you have the problem you have the Kant problem right you have the Immanuel Kant problem like Kant's a ghost like if it's immaterial it can't it can't interact with the material world and if it is material then you'd have the problem that it couldn't fit inside of a fetus's brain so I, I just think the developers maybe just didn't think that all the way through. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to ask them. I don't know. I don't know what they... Well, I don't know. But that, that, I think that was the long and short of it, though, is that they were, impl they were implanting Kane's soul into the fetus, and, and he was going to be reborn. And we'll just pretend that he was going to re be reborn as a fully grown human being. And that's why... Hadley was hemorrhaging blood at the end of the cutscene because he was coming out as a full-grown man uh, because science. Let's 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 say that that's the reason. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop the recording here, and we'll upload then. Uh, but then we'll load some hard, some more hard space up, and we'll do some more Zotsu. So, stopping the recording now. Thank you everyone for watching.